So nothing too exciting is happening today, but nevertheless, I thought, let's hang out, you know? I'm bored, you're bored, might as well spend the day together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, the really sad thing is, is uh, I do when I'm with you guys, when I'm with my camera, I, I do feel like I'm with a friend. And that's nice because I really don't have friends, so. Yes, let's spend the day together. There's really not much going down today, um, but what do we got, what do we got? I need to go to the container store. That's pretty exciting, right? Um, tonight is the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh -huh. Hashtag Team Sasha, am I right? And uh, I think I have some packages. I got a little notification on my phone a second ago, so we can do a little unboxing. And uh, Maybe, uh, oh, there's this uh, frozen yogurt place that has vegan options that I've been seeing all over Instagram. I haven't tried yet, but apparently it is like heavenly. So maybe we'll go, we'll go try that. That sounds like a good day. And can I just talk about how much I'm living for my look today? It's very kind of like 90s inspired guess with this little headscarf and tie up tee and cut off shorts and belt and little white sneakers it's a look all right let's get some breakfast so my fridge is actually really bare <laughs> because i'm getting ready to go to italy and so i haven't been grocery shopping in a hot minute so you know, I just gotta, I gotta work with what I got here in the kitchen. I had some of this uh, organic instant type oatmeal pouches and then I'm gonna just pop in some berries and that's gonna be my breakfast today. That looks pretty good. And I'm also gonna put some little almond slices for some extra protein. I also have to edit this video, which shouldn't take me too long, but then again, I always think that editing shouldn't take me too long, and then like eight hours goes by and I'm still doing it. So, we'll see. I think, yeah, by the time you guys are watching this, you'll have already watched this video about my quarter life crisis. I actually really debated whether or not I wanted to talk about this. I'm like, is this something that people are going to end up using against me? Probably. But at the same time, I feel like it will also relate to a lot of people. So, it's whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> you ruined my time lapse. Are you happy? Always trying to be the star. So editing is taking way too long due to some lighting issues. So there is no way that this video is gonna come out today. So I'm just gonna just gonna stop that for now because I don't really want this whole vlog to be me editing. Um, and oh, let's go get my packages. Nothing like a good unboxing video. So literally, I almost didn't make it up here because oh, pokey. Are you concerned for me? I almost didn't make it up here because I couldn't carry all of these damn boxes. I thought I only had two, but I have four and they're quite large. So let's see what we got. So the one that I'm most excited about is this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that this is finally here. So these are some items that I picked from the website ThreadUp, which if you guys don't know what that is, it is the most amazing online consignment shop where, you know, the normal struggle of secondhand clothing and all of that is that it's a lot to sort through. So this website does all that for you. You just put in your sizes and all of that and that way you can find what you're looking for. And I found some amazing finds. Just in general, I've really been trying to shop more often at secondhand stores because it is definitely more environmentally friendly. And not only that, but, <laughs> Bookie really wants to get in here. Not only that, but when you go to these stores, especially in LA or the online shops, you can find stuff that's brand new or worn like one time because that that's the world we live in now. People wear stuff one time and then they deem it trash you know so let's see yes look at this this is a faux leather kind of like bustier style top like literally this has not been worn oh 
literally, <laughs> this has not been worn. $158. What did I pay for this? I paid $35. So that's pretty amazing. I'm really excited to try this on. This top literally fits so perfect. It's crazy. And it also comes with straps, which I feel like I'm probably going to end up using because let's face it, I don't have much happening right here and I could use a little, a little lift. <laughs> um, but wow, I'm in love. I also got a designer bag, which I was really hesitant to do because it was marked down so much that it's final sale, but it really looked like something that I would love. So it's from this, I believe it's a high-end Chinese designer. And what I really loved about this is that this hardware really reminds me of the new Prada bags, which are leather, so I can't have them, obviously. But the quality, this is so cute. I feel like going out nice at night. I'm in love. And last thing I got are these shoes. Can you guys handle this? These are just from Zara. They retailed for 60 and I got them for 16, but they look so expensive, so nice. I imagine these with just like some skinny jeans and like a black tee. Amazing, I need to try these on actually. <laughs> what am I saying? I need to try these on. Yes, how amazing. I mean, I would never wear these with shorts, but with skinny jeans, yes. If you guys would be interested in trying ThreadUp, um, they are actually sponsoring this video and they are offering my viewers 40% off of their first order. All you have to do is go to the link that will be in my description, all the details and stuff will be in the description, and use code Kalel at the checkout. Okay, so let's see what else we got in here. This I'm really excited about. I had a moment when I saw this online I don't typically order stuff from Bath and Body Works, but I saw this online and I was like, girl, I kinda gotta, I kinda gotta. So I ordered all of the OG scents. And can I just say, Bath and Body Works is totally my childhood. I started going there when I was about seven or eight years old. For you youngsters out there that don't know what Bath & Body Works used to look like, I really want to try to Google um, image search and find what the packaging there used to look like because it's real dated, okay? But I'm so excited to smell these. Oh my gosh, some of these I have not smelled in forever. And they were on sale for like $3 each. So I went in, all right, I got four. So the first one that I have a clear memory of is Sun ripened raspberry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just instantly taken back. It's crazy. Isn't it insane how sense, both sense and music, can do that? They can instantly give you this feeling inside. I instantly feel like a child. It only lasts for like a fraction of a second, but it feels so real. <laughs> wow. Wow. Plumeria. <laughs> oh my god. This is another really old one that I remember having on my vanity, but it, I don't feel like it's like as crazy as the other ones. So this was Pearberry. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe how much that, that gives me the feels. Cucumber melon. This was all I wore in the fifth and sixth grade. I was obsessed with it, as were all of my friends. Mm. This one I feel is still kind of fresh in my memory, but still really makes me happy. Wow, that was really fun. All right, next I have a package from Amazon. Do you see this? Always, anything I want to do, she's got to be in it. Ugh. I got this for $40 on Amazon. So, Bookie, you wanna make some ice cream? I'm gonna be making some ice cream. Coming, coming to a what I ate today video soon. And last but not least, I got some things from Sephora. 
first thing I got was this little reward actually. So this I redeemed using my points and this is from the brand Amika and it's five different hair products. And I just learned that this company is mostly vegan and cruelty free. So I really want to try some of their products and the packaging is just so cute. Look at it. Like look how cute these are. They're so bright and fun. Speaking of hair products, I got a hairspray. So this is from the brand Verb and it is their ghost hairspray. I don't know, this brand has really good reviews and it's fairly affordable and I thought I'd give it a shot. I actually haven't used hairspray in ages, but now my hair is like getting a little bit longer and I'm starting to wear it up and I kind of need the hairspray to hold all these little baby hairs that are falling down. So we'll give this a whirl. I also got a big round brush because again, now that my hair is growing out, I kind of want to be a little bit more adventurous. I want to see if I can give myself a blowout. <laughs> it's nice. So this is from the brand Dry Bar and I have the Dry Bar Blow Dryer. It's like this would be really good for getting like a nice kind of turn under like swoop back look without having to use a flat iron because I really want to try to start using try to stop using my flat iron as much then I also got a little um small rollerball perfume of my favorite fragrance currently which is the Stella McCartney um the pink one <laughs> the pink one mm. oh That strong and I just wasn't thinking at all to spray that around Buki. I'm sorry Buki. Oh my god And the only other thing I got is this Deborah Lipman nail polish in the shade modern love But I'm thinking I'm gonna return it because it looks Too purple. I thought it was more like a mauve To me it looks pretty purple and that does it for my little I was gonna say mini unboxing, but that really wasn't that mini. <laughs> that was just a straight up haul. All right, off we go to the container store. But literally, I think my outfit has gotten a little bit too matchy-matchy. Belt's black and gold. The whole vibe is black, white, red. Bag is black and gold. Headband, shoes. I don't know, is it too much? Oh well, let's go. <laughs> Last week I actually went in for my annual eye exam, which wasn't very annual because I hadn't gotten one in like three years. And my vision has gotten a lot worse. I am now a plus 1.5 in my right eye and a plus 1.25 in my left eye. So I got some new glasses. I definitely need these for driving. She told me like it's against the law if I don't wear these to drive at night. So, guess I'm about that glasses life now. Tell me what you guys think of these. I went for something a little bit more daring. You know, I don't want like some basic glasses if I'm gonna have to wear them. I think they're quite cute. Someone should maybe work on getting the street name change. No, don't you think? America says we love a chorus, but don't get complicated and bore us. The meaning might be missing. We need to know the words after just one listen. So repeat stuff, 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 yeah. I was just taking a little casual stroll down memory lane listening to some Bo Burnham who, if you don't know who he is, he's a literal genius, okay? He's amazing. I've been a fan for a really long time now. But anyway, we're here. How beautiful is this container store? Like, this is what I dream about, guys. Okay, so I just realized that my phone case is also <laughs> on point with today's outfit. I, I can't. <laughs> I'm too much. I'm too much for my own good, you guys. 
So I'm going here because I need luggage organizers. Because um, I'm going to Italy, I have a lot of stuff, and I want to try to fit as much as I possibly can in one suitcase. That's the goal here. So let's see what they got for my organization needs. Um, it's like they knew I was coming. Look at this. Okay, so this is perfect for my liquids. I think I need. I love how it has a little hook. Operation Container Store was a success. I found everything I need. I may actually film a what's in my suitcase video if I have time. It's gonna be tight. I don't know if I'm gonna have time, but I would like to have something to post while I'm gone. So I may film that and then release it while I'm in Italy. We'll see. For now, um, I'm starving. So I'm gonna go eat dinner. I'm thinking, when I was driving, I passed a P.F. Chang's, which we don't really have over by where I live. Um, so I may have to hit that up. I was supposed to meet Cyrus for dinner, but <laughs> I mean, I might just have to go eat this myself. He's with friends anyway, so I might just let him do his thing. I'm gonna do my thing, which is eat. <laughs> We just eat alone. That's my thing, totally. Uh, I'm gonna go eat, and then I'm gonna see if I have time to make it to the Froyo place, and I'm gonna meet him there. And then I have to go home and watch RuPaul before it gets ruined for me on social media. Ooh, I swear, if Sasha does not win, I don't know what that is, okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is vegetarian lettuce wraps with tofu and mushroom and um, water chestnut and like the best sauce. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready for this to be in my body. And here we have the second dish, which is called mapao tofu. It's like a seared tofu in a really good sauce with steamed broccoli and brown rice. Oh. oh my god, I literally just ate so much. I had so much sodium that my face is literally going to be a gumball tomorrow. No joke. So, a little bit awkward in that restaurant because I was eating alone. I don't know if people just like felt sorry for me or what, but there was a server that was hitting on me so hard that I just wanted to like crawl in a hole. Like, flattering, but also creepy. My baby, my baby, I'm home. Hi, don't forget about you, books. Hmm? So I seriously just came up with the world's greatest idea. Okay, so I'm waiting for Cyrus to get home. And I have some time to kill. So I'm like, what do I do? What do I do while, while I prepare to watch the RuPaul's Drag Race finale. And I feel like, you know, maybe I should just get in the spirit and try to do drag style makeup on myself. <laughs> I've never done it before. I've actually never even done like intense makeup. I've never done like cream contouring and like all of that. I've never done that one time in my entire life. So I don't even have the supplies to do it, but I feel like I can look in my basket. Mwah. I can look in my basket of like stuff that's been sent to me from companies and maybe find some stuff that I can use for this. So I think I'm gonna try to recreate Sasha's makeup. Oh my gosh, spooky. Excuse me, you cannot have the PF Changs. No, 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 no. This, this cat's obsessed with plastic. I really, I've been meaning to Google why do cats love biting plastic? Does anyone know? I'm probably gonna Google before this video comes out because I'm really curious why she always does that. Anyway, I think I'm gonna do Sasha's makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna try to, it's gonna be funny. All right, so I gotta go take all this off. This is the look that we're going for. Yes. This is honestly the most foundation I've ever had on my face <laughs> in my entire life. Uh, okay, and I think like down. And then like out, right? So I'm gonna just try to do like that. And then the tip. I don't know. That's 
not good. <laughs> I'm literally living the fantasy right now. Like when I watch these Instagram videos of girls doing this crazy contour, this is like what I imagine. All right, let's see if we can blend this out. I, I'm literally terrified of myself right now. I can't. I think I went too hard, guys. I think I think I went too hard. So the star of the show when it comes to her look is definitely the huge winged eyeliner. I feel like I should be able to make up for the fact that everything else sucks with this step. Okay, but are you guys ready for this liner? <laughs> so this was actually really hard because of how my eyes, uh, my eye folds are in the inner corner here. I really can't do this like crazy cat eye thing. It doesn't really work for my type of eyelid. But hey, we tried. We definitely tried. And I think for our first attempt, it's not that bad. Some lashes for sure. Now, obviously I wish I had super crazy lashes because that would have completely transformed this look. But this is, all I got, you know? So we're gonna work with it. I also wish I had bottom lashes. I attempted cutting and like putting these, it just didn't look right. It didn't look right, so forget about that. All right, we're pretty much done. I'm gonna do some intense lips. The very last thing, and I almost forgot, these iconic eyebrows. Obviously mine aren't covered, so I can't quite achieve this look, but we're gonna do, we're gonna do our best. We're gonna do our best, okay. I can't. This is awful. <laughs> okay, matching. This is the worst because I don't even have liquid eyeliner. I only have this dull. <laughs> I just do not have the tools for this, but okay. This is our look. This is our final look. Let's, let's go show Cyrus and see what he thinks. And let's act like we think it looks really good, okay? <laughs> you don't think it looks good? I actually thought it really looked good. You don't think it looks good? <laughs> I I did not expect this. What did you think it was gonna look like? You don't think it's good? Really? Are we seeing the same thing? Cause I think this is like I think this is like my new everyday look. You're kidding, right? No. I love it. It's like dramatic. Looks a little bit like a like an antelope. <laughs> I'm in the spirit now. I'm ready to go. I'm dressed up. Let's pop some popcorn. Let's watch my queen win. Sasha is gonna win. I just feel it in my soul. Let's do this. He's making the popcorn. He's acting like he doesn't want to watch. <laughs> Oh my god, there she is! Look at this look! Oh my god. See, we have matching wing liner. It's matching. But really, Cyrus just had the nerve to say that he thinks Shea Coulee should win. You've watched like what? Two episodes? Okay. I can't. I like Shea, but no. And no, definitely not. Yeah, you know, the first moment that I knew I wanted Sasha to win was Snatch Game. How good was Sasha's performance in Snatch Game? Crazy good. I think Boogie needs a little treat. She needs something. She's like, you guys are having something. Can I have something? Yes. Oh, yes. <gasps> Look at her. <laughs> she eats so fast. She's so excited. It's gonna be after the break, no? Or is it now? <laughs> yes, bitch! Yes! I knew it though. It really, it wasn't a real competition. I knew it, but. This moment. Ah, Boozy, I know! It's so exciting! 
exciting. All right, guys, Cyrus says he can't look at me. I gotta go take this makeup off and then go to bed. But thank you so much for hanging out today and I will see you really soon. Bye. And if you can't love yourself, how, can how the hell are you gonna love anybody else? <laughs> can I get an amen?